Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the optical drive in a 2011 27-inch iMac. We've already gathered our materials, have shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. Attach each of the two heavy-duty suction cups to the upper corners of the glass front of the iMac. Then, gently but firmly pull forward on the handles to separate the glass from the magnets that hold it in. You can then set the glass aside. At this point, you'll need to be extremely careful not to touch the screen itself as the oil from your fingers is very difficult to remove. Next, we need to detach the display itself. To do this, we'll need to remove eight Torx T10 screws, four on the left and four on the right. You may want to use a pair of tweezers as you remove each screw to keep them from getting away from you, especially ones located near magnets. Then, being careful not to touch the screen itself, gently pull the screen forward slightly. In the upper left corner, you'll need to disconnect the vertical sync cable. Simply slide it from its connector using the tabs at the top. Next, disconnect the backlight power cable by pushing down on the connector to release the retaining tab, then pulling the cable and connector downward. You can use a nylon tool to help disengage the clip if you need to. Then, detach the DisplayPort cable near the center. First, open the handle by lifting up on the black plastic tab, then lift the connector straight up and out. Finally, slide the display power cable up and out much like you did for the vertical sync cable. Keeping your hands on the outside edge of the display, you can now lift it up and out of the iMac and place it in a dust, static, and oil-free place. Disconnect the ODD temperature sensor cable by sliding it out of its socket. Then, extract the cable from its channel along the fan until it hangs free. Next, remove these four Torx T10 screws. Note that the screw in the lower left corner has a larger top than the other three. Gently pull the rear of the drive away from the iMac to expose the SATA connector, which you can then detach. You can now pull the drive back slightly, then lift it free of the iMac. Gently peel off the foam pad covering the heat sensor, then carefully lift the sensor itself away from the drive. Next, we'll need to remove these two Torx T10 screws holding the drive in. Then these two on the other side. With the assembly facing up, gently lift up on the rear of the drive to loosen the foil tape along the front edge. Then gently peel the tape away from the drive. You can now slide the drive out of the carrier and set it aside. Depending on the model, your new optical drive may or may not come with the front bezel attached. If your drive didn't come with a bezel, you can skip ahead to the next section. If your drive did come with a bezel, we'll need to remove it before proceeding. The bezel is held on by a series of tabs, which can be unlatched with a small screwdriver or nylon tool. Two on the bottom, one on the side, and two on the top. Once these have been detached, you can simply slide the bezel off the front of the drive and your drive is ready to install. 
take your new drive and set it most of the way into the carrier. You can then slide the drive forward into place so that these two holes go over these two pins along the front edge of the carrier. You should also note that these three circular tabs should sit on the top of the drive. You can now fold the tape back down and reseal it. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Next, replace the four Torx T10 screws you removed earlier. Finally, replace the thermal sensor and foam pad in the same places they were on the original drive. Again, there should be enough residual adhesive to allow them to stick. The drive assembly is now ready to install back into the iMac. Align these two holes on the front of the assembly with these two pins in the iMac and slide them together. Next, reattach the SATA cable to the drive. Then, set the drive assembly flat into its bay and secure it into place, starting with the lower left screw, which has a thicker head than the other three. Finally, plug the sensor cable back into its socket and run the excess cable along the channel next to the fan so that it sits out of the way. You can now set the LCD back into the iMac, once again being careful not to touch the screen itself. Reattach the display power cable by simply sliding it into place. To reattach the display port connector, first make sure the handle is flipped upwards. You can then slide it into the connector and flip the handle down to lock it into place. Reattach the backlight power cable on the lower left by simply sliding it back into place until it clicks. Finally, plug the vertical sync cable back in. You can now lean the display back so it lays flat. Take a narrow screwdriver and slide it through the top screw hole in the display and into the hole in the iMac. You can then use the screwdriver to lift the screen up and down. Do this to align the second screw holes and insert a screw so that the screen won't fall. Repeat the process on the other side. Finally, replace the remaining screws and tighten them all down. Use your tweezers if the magnets make installing the screws difficult. You can now set the glass into place as shown, but don't close it yet. Use your microfiber cloth to make sure that there is no dust trapped in between the screen and the glass. You can now close the glass, which will be held in place by the magnets. You may need to squeeze slightly near the top to make sure the glass sits flush. Finally, remove the suction cups and wipe the front down so it's clear of smudges. You may now hook your iMac back up, plug it in, and turn it on.